Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength of Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a reading, a random reading, for the 3rd of March. Now, like I always say, these are general readings, so if they resonate with you, that's awesome. If they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. Now, whether you email me or, you know, shoot me a ring, I do uh, readings either in a private video sent by email or I do them over the phone. The cost is the same no matter how you would like to do it. So, interested, give me a shout. If you want to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes, five videos sent by email, plus a bonus video, and I coach throughout the whole thing. So, if you ever get stuck on anything, just give me a shout. I'm there to help. Okay, let's see what the third has to say. That's all face down. We only want the ones that are up. Like that one. Ooh, we have somebody's emotional happiness here. Ride that unicorn card, I usually say. Doesn't get any better than this. Family's great. You know, partner couldn't be better the happy happy card hmm. wow and then we have the six of swords and this is moving away to calmer waters leaving a situation behind and going to a better one and then right after that you get two aces here you have the ace of pentacles the universe giving somebody an opportunity, whether they take it or not. For the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. The things that have worth and value to them. And then you get the Ace of Swords. Here's victory. An epiphany. Truth. Clarity. Aha moment. Cutting off the things that no longer serve somebody anymore. So somebody did leave a situation behind because they put their happiness first and because they made this decision for themselves the universe now is handing them that victory that clarity that need clarity get that out that somebody needed and then you know the tangible things that go with it somebody has self-love self-respect because they did take that course of action and now they're looking on the horizon to see what's coming. The three of wands. These other two wands that are behind them could have been things that somebody started before that really didn't bring anything. But this new action does. Boy, does it. I mean, perfect emotional contentment, new job offer, so to speak. I mean, eyes wide open here with the Ace of Swords, having that victory because they thought of themselves first. Hmm. And it probably took a lot of thinking about this. You have the Hermit card, also known as the Virgo card. He's a seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He relies on himself. That way he knows it to be true. It's right under the Ten of Cups. Sometimes it's isolation and seclusion. But the hermit likes to be alone. He likes to hear his thoughts. The lantern in the card is his intuition. He trusts himself. This is about taking that step back. In doing the introspection, finding out what would truly make somebody happy. And after deciding what that is, it could be a point of healing and somebody getting themselves back together and finding out what makes them happy and then going for it. Hmm. Okay, it might have taken this person a while to act on this though. 
Now you get three aces here. Wow. But this one's in reverse. Now this one is about taking a new course of action to move on something. The ace of wands. It could be a creative endeavor. But this is doing something new. Acting on something new. Still a good card in the reverse. It's just paused or delayed. It's right under the Six of Swords. Somebody might have hesitated to move on this and leave something behind. They had to maybe rethink it and rethink it. But they finally did. And when they did, here come the other aces, those new opportunities. It's like a blessing from the universe that somebody put themselves first. Was it going to let themselves be used or be someone's, you know, doormat? Uh -huh. Yeah. Now you get the Nine of Swords, but in reverse. Before leaving the situation, this person, you know, probably suffered anxiety. Thinking about something over and over again, losing sleep over it. Being trapped by their thoughts. Guess what? Not anymore. They have released all that because they have new opportunities now. They open up that doorway for themselves. And now you have the Page of Wands in reverse. <laughs> kind of funny because it's with the Ace of Wands in reverse. But in the upright, this is a messenger from the court of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but more so just a messenger. A message to act on something, to move, to put something in motion. And again, it could be paused or delayed. And that's right under the Ace of Swords. Like I said, maybe somebody had to put a lot of thought into this and maybe had to get the courage to leave whatever the situation is. But the truth came in. In clarity. And the, the mightiest sword of all to cut things out that no longer serve this person. And that's exactly what they did. Now, they didn't jump on it right away. It could have been fear. You know, the unknown. But after thinking about it and doing that introspection, this person finally did it. And now they're looking, you know, on the horizon for all those new things that come in their, their life. Now, this can apply to a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. And they finally put something to rest. You get the world card in the upright. And this is wrapping things up. This is a cycle that needed to end. So this person decided to wrap things up, put something behind them. And look forward for their own future. Bottom of the deck. It makes sense. You have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is remorse, regret, some sorrow. This might have not been an easy decision for somebody. That's why they didn't act on it right away. But they knew it had to be done. Now this is the All Hope Is Not Lost card because... This person's so fixed on what he's lost, if he just turned around, he still has two cups left. And the two of cups is that I get you card. Maybe this person had to get away to heal themselves. Get clarity. Hmm. So let's get into this one. Somebody's total happy is on the table here. Their emotional fulfillment. And in order to get that, somebody had to leave a situation behind. So they can have the new opportunities. And have some truth and have some clarity. You know, a victory. 
this person now looks for, you know, positive things on the horizon because they did make a move. They thought about it. And they decided, you know, the best for themselves, not for everybody else, the good of the crew. They internalized. Now, they might have not acted on it quickly. But they finally got out of this anxiety and sleepless nights and thinking about this and worrying about it over and over again. That's gone. They put something in motion. Finally. This might even be a false start. You know, someone saying, all right, I'm going to do it this time, I'm going to do it this time, and then they get pulled back in the situation. But then, they finally put something in motion. And what they put in motion is ending whatever that situation was for good. This person wants brand new opportunities and, you know, positivity in their life, I think. And in order to have that, they had to close out a cycle. To invite the new stuff in. And yes. There might be some sadness here. Some remorse. But that's all part of the healing. Somebody outweighed. You know the good here. Versus staying in a situation. And I think they made the right decision. So folks. Let's break it down. Somebody has thought long and hard about what truly makes them happy. And there was an, uh, a course of action to take. This person didn't do it right off the bat. But they did put something into motion, in action. They decided to stop worrying about it and go after it. And the universe blessed them. That one little course of action they took. Probably getting clarity with themselves. Seeing something clearly. The truth. And maybe that's what put this person in motion. Because now they're not looking behind them. They've wrapped something up. They brought something to an end. And they have brand new things on the horizon. They might be looking back. Maybe still feeling some sadness. But like I said, it's all part of the healing process. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.